All right, moving on. Next year, Nintendo is expected to ship its next console, the NX. Mm -hmm. Currently yeah. codenamed the NX. And if reports are to, be to are to be believed, Nintendo expects to ship 10 to 12 million NXs next year. It's a lot. I find this hard to believe. <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, do, I don't even know, I don't know what the statement is, because like, is it Nintendo? We, do we think Nintendo believes that? Or do we think that's that statement what, is even That's what impossible? the report, so the report they're comes start, from the manufacturer. They're gonna okay. start, man, and the the other, well the other news. Meaning that the manufacturer would know what Nintendo ordered yeah, to have yeah. made, mm -hmm. right? Interesting. They're also manufacturing them early. Like that's yeah. that was the other half of this news. I don't know if you have it written down there in your so notes. Production mass production is supposed to begin the end of Q one, which wow. is sixteen. Which is not wow. normal. Like that indicates that it's not coming out like in the fall. Or, th or that they'll stockpile it. Not coming out in the fall. Yeah, that's too soon. That's oh, too early. Like, out, like this indicate summer. yeah, this indicates like a summer launch. Like it yeah. doesn't have to be. They can do whatever they want, but I'm just saying if yeah. this is true and it's their manufacturing in Q one, that would not be typical. Normally, for a fall release, you it's hard to sit on a bunch of inventory too. Right? Yeah. Well, it's too much stuff leaks. Like you can't like they'd, they'd be manufacturing it before they even reveal the console to the public, presumably at E3. Like I don't yeah. know, it's weird. And also, yeah. there's parts of manufacture like just doing the chips, just doing this. Yeah, stuff I mean, there is. First. There's all kinds of supply chain. Like you actually have to source the RAM and like the CPU, like all the rest of that garbage. It's just like, incredibly complex and complicated. That's a big process. sales number, though. That's a big sales yeah. goal in the contemporary. Well, this is what this is a ship number. Uh, ship let's number, be clear. Right. But that would mean that the Nintendo would ship more NXs in one year than the Wii U has sold Period. in its lifetime. Yeah, yeah. By yeah how I was much? just going to so say like that. 10 million? By like 2 million. I mean, yeah. two, million. The okay. Wii U is like 10 a little, million. A little over 10 million. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you said 10 to 15? <clears throat> 10 to 12. Oh, okay. 10 yeah, 10. I mean, oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I'm worried about all this. I think this is like, it's, it's all coming in a little hot. Uh, yeah. I think the main, one of the main problems with the Wii U, besides the fact that it was hard to identify and it was between generations and it was technologically behind pretty much everything else at the time, um, was that from hearing from third parties, they didn't get uh, access to the console early enough mm -hmm. to start building stuff for it. And when they did, it was like, should we port stuff that we're working on? A lot of that stuff doesn't carry over. Yeah. So I don't know where this is gonna sit in that sort of timeline, yeah. but it feels too soon. It doesn't feel like, like we haven't even heard a lot of leaks about people playing with dev kits or working on things. Like there's some stuff here and there. I know, I believe it was Square said something about something, a uh, Dragon Quest or something coming to the NX. But other than that, there really hasn't been a lot of like, this is what's happening, this is, w this is what we're working on. It's totally gonna be, the timing of it is weird. Yeah. It's gonna be similar to the Wii U, like we're gonna get like, hey, you can get R Rayman, you can get Rayman Origins, and Rayman, what's yep. the sequel, Rayman uh, Legends. Legends. Mm. And like just stuff like that, or like the Wii U, totally got like, people forget like the Wii U has Mass Effect and Call of Duty Batman. and yep, Assassin's Creed. But, but like they were all like a year later, yep. Yep. and like it's just like, mm, I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, the other problem is that Nintendo fans historically have proven that they don't buy those things, mm -hmm. but they want them there to make the library more robust. So mm -hmm. now you're leaning just on first party stuff, which uh, I hope. They must will, be working on stuff. They didn't put out anything this fall. Well, that was about to say that actually. The, Mario their, Maker. their quality this year, I, I think we did this show a year ago, Damon, where you brought up this whole. Uh, well, I'm sure we did. You've been doing it for a long time. But you you brought up um, how at the end of the year there's the Metacritic average for publishers year yeah. over year. And while Nintendo doesn't necessarily sell the most, uh, I think last year they were not, if not number one or number two, yeah. highest rated publisher of the year. That is not the case in 2015 They've very much at all. fallen off. They've very much fallen off and a lot of their efforts have been funneled into these kind of um, Second tier spin off franchise, you know, and, and games that we saw a long time ago. Yeah. So, Yoshi's Woolly World and stuff like that, it, we saw those so long ago that, like, those yeah. were done and made. Like, they're working through some kind of back stock right now. Yep. They're all working on something. Yeah, I mean, they have lots, yeah. Nintendo has lots and lots of studios, and they're not releasing 3DS games or Wii U games yeah. right yeah. now. So, they're working on something. Yeah, so um, I'm, hope, I'm hoping all their top, top which tier I think talent. is exciting. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm not worried about that. Getting... The software side of it, I never worry about. And yeah, I, don't, I mean the hardware side. You know what's funny is that everybody said like the game, the the the, the Wii U is going to be the Dreamcast of Nintendo, which is like oh, it's their last system and it's it's crappy. Hmm. But it's not. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 a little like the Saturn because the Saturn yeah. came out and it, they were just like we got to scrap this, and it's like the Virtual Boy, like we got to scrap yeah. this and just try again right away. Right. Now, in those two examples, both end up with better systems. Dreamcast was amazing, but eventually failed because of kind of Sega's uh, software problems and then their internal well, the, uh, issues. But then the, the 64 was very successful. The, so there's <clears throat> there's prior examples of somebody like being yeah. like, okay, let's just scrap that system. Yep. But like, 
the Nintendo's timing's had just, one the the timing's just all wrong. Sense. Like, even if the NX is, you know, a really great console, everybody loves it, we love it, consumers love it. Like, in another two, three years, you're going to be getting the next thing from Microsoft and Sony. So it's got, yeah, like, longer. this much time to really, like, try to carve out. We're also, or it could be up against games that have been amazingly developed yeah. for those systems. Well, that's right? the thing. We are so... The launch is different. Than we are so comfortable and nestled into our our console <laughs> ecosystems currently, right? Yeah. Like, you, I am so entrenched into my PS4 right yeah. now that I know the way... I know every nook and cranny of it. I know I know exactly what's coming to it and when. I know who I'm going to be playing those games with and how and what, what I'm getting season passes for. Um, that's it's kind of a marriage that you get into for a few years, sure. and to kind of break that off with you know some side chick that might not really know what's what's going on, it gets messy. It can. It's sad I mean, we I, I I can't think of a console historically that's come out off cycle like that. That was a big success. Right. Like it didn't really work for the Dreamcast. Um, that's the highest profile example. Yeah, the Dreamcast. Well, but came I think the 64 September. was much more successful than the. But it was not off cycle. Like it came out at the same time as the other yeah. consoles did, and it competed head to head. Well, with no, the, no, it was three years after PS One. Really? Yeah. I don't think no. Right. Yeah, it was like ninety two no. to ninety six. No, it was ninety six. It was ninety five to ninety six. Yeah, it was 90, just a was, year. Or ninety four in Japan. For what Maybe. It was. They're a year apart. I'm almost sure. I mean, I could be wrong, but... um, Either way, I love Nintendo. I loved my Wii U for a very long time. I'm in a very weird position now as a Nintendo fan working at IGN because people ask me almost every single day, uh, hey, I saw a great sale on a Wii U. Should I get it? Yeah, and a year ago, I was like, hell yeah. Because yeah, last year, yeah. the system had an amazing year. We just year. had such a blah year to follow up. Yeah, but there's and still great games to play. There's great games coming. Them, yeah. Zelda's on the way. The library but, still exists for what uh, exactly. was already out. But, I mean, Three right now, if you ask me, should I, buy the, should I buy an, an, the Nintendo console they're selling, I'm kind of like, no. Yeah, you wait. have to get it as an archive system because we have no idea what's coming. Uh, yeah, I don't know if in February yeah, we're going to get a wait. Nintendo Direct. It's like, hey, here's our plans for this I year. Mean, the NX, the NX is like we don't know. We don't know if they're continuing to double down on motion controls like the Wii U did. Like the Wii U carried on the Wii's tradition. Um, we don't know about any of that. Like it's yeah. all a big question mark. Like how traditional is it going to be? How out there yeah. is it going to be? Will it merge like, with their handheld line? Does it yeah. have a touch screen or a giant tablet or yeah? We don't know. I think what people want is a set-top box with a traditional controller that plays awesome, high-quality games. But uh, so. there's enough people making that right now, so it's a, it's a tough market to crack into. Yeah. I am very interested to see. It's very early. I really, I strongly is. believe, based on the manufacturing in Q1, that uh, that console they're going to reveal it before E3 and it's going to release before the fall. Yeah. I think the timing, if the timing's correct, they wouldn't be manufacturing that early. 